What's up guys, Brad here with Shiny Tech Things, where we take things seriously. And on today's show, we're gonna be checking out this QNAP switch that QNAP sent me. And as you can see right here, it has two combo ports. Then coming over here, you've got eight ports that are 2.5 gigabit. Now what's interesting is it says that it is fanless. And I did notice that the switch seemed to have a fan noise when it was running. So I'm curious if it actually does have the fan inside. Now, since QNAP did send me this unit to go ahead and review and play with, I don't know if I'm supposed to be taking it apart. So go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know if I should go ahead and crack it open and see if there's a fan in it. So I have a 2.5 gig link going over to my Netgear switch. And then I've got a 10 gig RJ45 going over to my desktop and a 10 gig SFP plus going over to my server. Now what's interesting about this switch is that if we come under the port management and the configuration, there's really not a lot that you can configure other than the speed and if the port is enabled or not. The flow control will only enable if you have it enabled on the other end of the device that it's connected to. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick walkthrough of all the different uh, menus here on the switch. You've got your VLANs, tagged and untagged, uh, lag or link aggregation, RTSP, LLDP, IGMP snooping, you got a access control list and quality of service. And if you come on down to firmware update, you can just tell it to check for an update right through the GUI. And if it is available, it will automatically download and install. Now I'm coming back over to port management and port configuration. Now one thing that you might notice is that there's no settings to be able to configure jumbo frames. Now jumbo frames, if you're not familiar with them, the short version is that when you start to go as fast as possible, you need to have larger jumbo frames to be able to accommodate faster throughput of your bandwidth. Now the nice thing about this QNAP switch is that if you configure jumbo frames right on uh, both of the clients, then it automatically inherits the configuration. So on both computers, I have jumbo frames configured at 9K on both sides. So let's see how fast we can copy some files. Okay, so here on the left side of the screen, I have two different Explorer windows. The top left one is on my Western Digital SN850 NVMe Gen 4 SSD. And the one in the bottom left is a RAM drive that I created that is approximately 11 gigs in size. On the top right, I have a RAM drive created on my server that is also 11 gigabytes in size. And on the bottom right, I've got Task Manager, so you can actually see the throughput as it's happening and not just in the file copy window. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. It's uh, about 10 gigs. And as you can see, that's uh, pretty much a gigabyte a second. Pretty close. Now I will delete them. Now here is RAM disk to RAM disk. So who is this for and should you buy one? Well, at $339 to be able to future-proof your home network, it's pretty affordable, especially when compared to other switches that are out there that have the same configuration as this one, where you get two 10 gig uplink ports and eight 2.5 gig ports. Now, if you have anything else that you want me to go ahead and test on this switch, go ahead and drop it in the comment section down below, as I do answer all comments on my channel. Also, in some upcoming videos, I'm going to be doing some things with a NAS that they sent me as well, and even a video on Chia mining. So like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one.